Hi guys, it's Court here and today I'm going to make a very quick video on how to back up your Minecraft single player worlds. Um, a couple of people have expressed interest in knowing how to do this, um, so I thought why not, okay fine I'll make a quick video on how to do it. So this will allow you to take your single player worlds, maybe you created a custom map, or you've played um, a world and you just want to back it up, or maybe you want to give it to a friend to try out whatever um, this is very quickly how you do it so first things first um, when you play Minecraft so I'm just gonna open up mine here okay and I click on play so here's some worlds so if I go into single player I thought let's just full screen this for a moment okay so here we have a few worlds all, all well and good so I've got a few worlds here and as you can see so let's say I make a new world so create a new world and let's call it um, my new world okay that's all I need to do creating a new world give it a second and we're good right okay so here's my new world it's just still rendering over there that's, that's taking its time okay but there we go right Okay, hmm, interesting. It's really not wanting to render those uh, those mountains. Okay, so that's my new world. Okay, so let's quit out of that. So let's just close that. And you can see it there again, my new world. There it is. So I'm going to close Minecraft now. Okay, so where do we find this, this world? Well, if you were to open up your my computer, um, and generally speaking, what you'll do then is you'll go to your C drive. Uh, if your computer operating system has been installed in a typical manner. Uh, mine hasn't. I have split things out in a very um, custom way. So for most people you go to your C drive. I'm going to go to my D drive. But what you're actually looking for here is the users folder. Okay, so obviously this pertains to a Windows installation. So you're going to go to your Windows uh, under your operating system. You're going to go to your users folder, should I say, sorry. Find the account you log onto your computer with. Okay, so this just happens to be mine here. So under users, then your account. And then under here, you'll have a load of folders. Now, the folder you're actually after is normally hidden, and that's this folder here called app data. Now, normally this is hidden, okay? Um, so normally you'll, you'll see it like this and you won't find it. So in Windows 8, if you go to the view tab, you'll see there's hidden items. You can just tick that and you can see the hidden items, which is hidden folders and everything else. In Windows 7, there'll be an options tab, um, which will say change folder and search options, uh, which will bring up this little window here. And under the view tab, you scroll down a little bit and you get the option to show hidden files, uh, folders and drives. So you just need to make sure that's that's selected there under that. So once it's OK, once you've done that, you will be able to see these hidden folders. So now you can see this app data folder. Go into that and you should see three further folders. And the folder you want to go into now is that the roaming folder. OK, and there's, again, you'll see lots of subfolders under that. But you should see one now called dot Minecraft. And hey Presto, here we are, we're now in your Minecraft folder. Now your maps are actually stored in this saves subfolder. And here we are. So here's all my maps. So you can see here the path to the, your maps is, well, would normally be your C drive. Under your users folder, find your account that you log on to your computer with. Then app data, roaming, dot minecraft, dot saves, dot saves. Okay, so here is the, where are we, my new world, there it is, so if I go into that, that's everything to do with my new map. So I want to export this or save it, so all I can do, certainly in Windows, if I right click that whole folder, one of the options I'll have is send to, and I can just put it into it what's called a, a zip file, or as, or as otherwise known as a compressed folder. It's just a zip file. So I'm going to click on that, okay, I can give it an, I'm going I'm to keep it with the same name, okay, and it's created a zip file. Or a compressed folder okay and that's it it's about two meg in size so I can now do whatever I want to do with that file so I can drag it to my desktop um, you know email email that to somebody post it on the website whatever that is now my map um, and guys that's it you've now got your your map and you can do whatever you need to do with it 
okay uh, and that's it for this short tutorial so you know if you ever need to now back up your maps um, you can now do so it's as easy as that okay guys uh, catch you again soon caught out